So today uh, I want to talk about the newest release. It's pretty exciting. Um, this is 2024.09. And uh, this is the one where the, uh, the new moving head effect has been added. Uh, Gil Jones, one of the developers, has been hard at work for this over quite quite some time, several, several months if not longer. Um, and he's got it to a point where he felt it was ready for release. And the, the big advantage to this new effect is it should make uh, the importing of moving head sequences easier for, uh, for those of you who, uh, who like to map sequences and uh, regardless of where your head position is set up, um, everything should come across pretty painlessly and it should make, should make using moving heads a lot easier for a, a lot of people. So uh, I guess the very first thing I wanted to cover is sort of what it looked like in the old X lights, right? So if we go come into layout here, we got four moving heads and you can see we're just using, let me scroll up here. We're just using the old DMX moving head model. And we got four of them. Uh, moving heads one, two, three, and four. All right, and a lot of times we would sequence, uh, um, this is the way Tom but George does this, the way I do it. <laughs> Several other vendors do as well. There's multiple ways. Um, no one is better than the other. Uh, but this is the way I work. So, what I wanted to demonstrate is, you know, shutter typically have on all the time, and then we would turn the lights on and off with a dimmer. So you see when a dimmer comes on, we have a dimmer layer set up. And I'm not going to cover how this is done. There's several other great videos on, on how to set this up for your lights. I just really want to show you what what one of the big changes is. So. If I put a DMX effect on here, you can see I've got a pan value and a tilt value. All right, but let's say I wanted to fan those lights out. I can do that. I've, I've got that in here. If you look here, when I drop a DMX effect onto this pan uh, group here that I've created, um, I can control the pan by individual channels. So if I slide this over here, you would see now we get the lights sort of fan out from, from left to right. And you can even do the same thing on the tilt, right? I could do some sort of, of tilt effect. And you can get them going all different directions. But as you can see, that takes one, two, it takes three DMX effects to accomplish that. And then if we want to start moving things in and around, it gets, uh, gets complicated, makes, makes for a lot of work. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what happens when we jump into the, the new version. A few moments later. All right, so we've just jumped into the new version. You can see up here, now we're on 2024.09. Um, it looks pretty much the same. It doesn't look like it changed at all. And that's good. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, what it did behind the scenes is it actually updated your moving heads. Um, but don't worry, all existing sequences from what I've done testing should work just fine. So it is all backwards compatible. If you see here now, it's before it was like DMX uh, 3D, moving head 3D. Now it's called DMX moving head advanced. So the model is, the model name has changed and it's added a bunch, bunch more things here. Um, um, if you want to use the new moving head effect, there is a little bit of work you're gonna have to do. Um, and that involves a few things. Okay, so we have four moving heads. First thing we want to do is look here, and there's this fixture. This is moving heads one, but you see it's got it's got up to eight fixtures. So uh, right now Gil's got this set. Um, you can use it with a maximum. You can use it with as many fixtures as, as you want, but you can only independently control eight fixtures. Um, so if you had say 16, you, you'd have to double them up and have two act. You know, two follow say moving head one, two following moving head two, two following moving head. Three you know, three, so on and so forth. Um, we've only got four. So the very first thing, all right, so I'm on my moving head one. I want to tell X lights, yeah, this is the first moving head uh, in my layout because it doesn't, you know, X lights doesn't know by the name. Then you got to come down to your pan motor. This, this, your channel should be set from last, should be fine. You can leave these skew limits alone. We can talk a little bit about that at some point, perhaps, or that may be another video. So range of motion, um, the heads that I was programming for rotated counterclockwise. In order for that to work, I had to put in my range of motion is 540 degrees. Um, you, what you want to do is if you had minus 540 before, you would need to change this to 540 degrees and then 
select this reverse. The next two things you have to change are to orient to zero and to orient forward. Okay. The orient to zero means when your head is in the rest position, where does the beam face? Okay. So in my case, you know, my beams face to the right. If I change this number, let's just put in 90 degrees. Okay. So if, if it rests, if your if your beams face to the back of your house and that's how it looked, then you'd want to set orient to zero to 90. You know, likewise, if they face to the left, you'd use 180, um, so on and so forth. But mine are this position. The third thing we need to change is this orient forward. So now we need to tell Alex lights, how do we get the light to face forward? Um, in my case, I've got to rotate 270 degrees, right? If I rotate 270, that's going to rotate it, flip it around, right? Because 90 went to the back, 180 went this way, 270 to the front. Last thing, we got to come down to the tilt motor, and this is very similar, okay? So my range of motion is 210, might orient to zero, and this would have should have been brought in from your last one anyways. It's At least it did with ours. Um, you know, mine, mine is 15 degrees down. Now we want to tell it how to orient straight up into the air. And so if your heads have a, you know, if these heads have a range of motion of 210 degrees, uh, then for us to orient up, we're going to have to go 105 degrees. Okay. And that is it. Um, that's one head set up. So same thing. We'll go, now we go to the second head and it, all the settings are identical. So it's so going to be moving head two, and we'll just sort of speed this up. A few moments later. All right, so we've done all the settings. We're going to jump into the sequencer. We'll just open that little sequencer we had before. All right. If we click here, you can see it's going to rotate around. And that's the exact effect we left off at. So no change. Even though we made all those settings, the old way will still work. So now let's talk about the new way. This is the new moving, so it's got a moving head effect. So we're drop this moving head effect right here. And now it pulls up this whole new channel over here. And I'm just going to take that one away. We don't need that menu for now. All right. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. So over here at the very top, so we got fixtures and we can see we've got one, two, three, four, are all activated and that's because we added those we'll call them one two three four in the layout and so you can see look I can select just one fixture if I want to just play with one if I want to play with all of them none evens odds so there's several ways so let's just pick all and then there's several things here right position path and control and status so position basically tells you where the head is pointing so right now this if we click this, it should go to the zero, zero position, right, 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 right at the center. And you can see I've got three heads pointing up. This one is not quite pointing in the right direction. So let's go back to the layout and see why, what's up with moving head four. Something was up with the tilt. See, orient up, right? I wrote, I put in 145, that should be 105, not 145. Okay. To the sequencer, and then if we click back here, they're now up. And actually, I'm going to just take this dimmers over here so we can tell that it's doing what we want. And you can see now if I these basically go in 45 degree limits up, down, left, and right. So this is so if I pull this straight, nope, select all the heads. We get them all. If I pull this straight down, they're all tilting 45 degrees up. Something is wrong with moving head three, four again. All right, we, I, I messed something up. So let's go back and see why why that is. Back to the layout. Moving head four. Tilt, that all looks good. Let's check PN. Oh, there, see what I, I didn't, I didn't do the 540. And hit reverse. Okay. Good. So now 
Just remember to hit when you select this, you gotta hit all or you're not changing anything. So there, now let's just check. If we drag this to the left, the head should move to the left. If we drag it to the right, the heads should move to the right. Now we know our heads, all the settings are right to work with this new moving head effect. Um, okay, we'll just go through a couple of quick things here. So let's uh, let's try and recreate that, that pan effect. Um, so we got all, and if we tilt it down, let's just say, uh, there you can see it's moving it here. All right, there's this fan pan. You can see if I slide it to the right, they fan out. Okay, and if I slide it to the left, you can give them the, you know, the fan in. So we can create also, and once we start to use value curves, it gets really cool. So let's just, let's try that. Let's set a value curve. Let's just use a ramp up, a ramp. Let's start it zero and go to maybe 15. If we shorten that effect up a little bit here. But you can see, it's, we're getting a nice little fan out. So that's the really quick uh, info about it. I will probably be doing another video, a little more deeper dive into, into sequencing these, but um, at least I wanted to get this out there so you guys know uh, th the new effect is not going to break your existing sequences and how to at least get them set up properly for, um, for being able to import sequences. Um, and the reason it'll be so easy is because right, it doesn't matter. Using these once the head knows where it starts and, and where it ends, if a sequencer is sequencing using this effect, um, you're, you'll, you'll import it and your heads will do exactly what theirs are doing. Thanks again to the developers for getting this out, uh, especially Gil. Okay. And if you look in the notes, I'll have a, I'll have a link to a video Gil did uh, a few months ago when he was still working on this effect, but he, he dives a little bit deeper in, into some of the setups. Um, if you you know, if you want to peruse that, that maybe give you a little more help. This should uh, this should get most people going. If you want a little more details, certainly look look there. Um, thanks for watching.